Welcome to REI Pro Talk, where real estate investors turn for the latest news, tips, and tricks from the real in the trenches pros. Tune in to hear Chris Goff, the nation's premier real estate investing powerhouse. Join up with other top pros in the investing world as they cover every topic. No fluff, no filler, no holds barred. All you need to know from start to paycheck. Hey there, this is Chris Hoff, and be sure to stay to the end because I'm going to teach you how to organize your cash buyers list as well as sending out some marketing materials. And be sure to subscribe, click that notification bell, as well as smashing that like button. All right, let's jump in. Glad to be here. Glad to be here. Yeah, Good. I was just uh, asking because I was looking, trying to figure out how to um, pinpoint cash buyers. So I know I know how you get the, uh, I guess, the list. And I was wondering if the addresses that come up, are they the the addresses to the actual cash buyer or is that just a property they own? How do you know it's getting, you know, um, how do you know you're getting to the actual cash buyer? Okay, but so- I'll leave that one to you, Bo. Yeah, so all of the properties in REI Pro revolve around, say, the parcel number, which is the physical plot of land, which is the address of that property, okay? And then, of course, we have the owner that is associated with that property. So in this case, that cash buyer, it's the it's the actual physical property and that's the owner. Now, if you look at the tax information and the mailing address, that may not be the same as the actual <clears throat> property address you saw on the lead. So that would be the owner's mailing address where okay. they're located. Does that make sense? Can you show me can you show me how you got to that page from I guess the uh, where the addresses are, where the leads come up at? Go to go uh, go run a cash buyer search in Lead Pro. Hey, let's do Broward County, right? There we go. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go down to investors. It's ninety thousand, so it may take a second to load this. Wow. Okay. And what you want? Just, what just, you want me to do, Bo? Just pick one of them and pull up the property details. Now this is 5,100 Southwest. Okay. Um, so this is the actual physical piece of land that this person or entity owns, okay? It's not vacant, it's not owner occupied, it's owned by ProMate LLC. Um, go to the tax info tab. Now this person actually lives in North Miami Beach. So we have and two different the addresses. For, huh? That's the owner's address. That's right, that's the actual owner. So ProMate LLC. Yep. With, you would contact them at that mailing address. And that's what's happening when you build a marketing campaign. Right, right. We're actually going to mail it to that North Miami Beach address for you. Yeah, so you don't need to look at these, Chris, like specifically. I think you kind of narrow it down to more of a price point. If you normally invest in properties that are in that 500,000 range, I find investors that normally invest in those 500,000 range where they bought properties before. And... But from the mailing address where we're going to send the campaign to, you don't have to pull those up individually. We're automatically going to do that for you. Okay. So when you guys see that address, before you go into the tax info, you already know to go in and mail it to the... Uh, yeah. So let's just... We uh, already know that. Let's just okay. do... <laughs> let's hypothetically go one step further. Let's just say you're a you know, big market. We have people that mail out 90,000 postcards. So let's just say that you selected all 90,000 postcards, you add it to a campaign, and then you go order postcards from us. Part of that process is, and it's an optional thing, you can run lists made to take that 90,000 list. Maybe if there's two or 3,000 of them, this for various reasons, we would say, you know, I probably wouldn't mail to that. Um, it would clean that list up for you, make sure that the post office is not marked it as vacant and such. But as part of that process also, we're going to run it through the national change of address. So this address, for example, 2020 Northeast 163rd Suite 300, six months ago, they could have put in, uh, didn't tell the tax assessor that they moved, but they put a change of mailing address in with the post office right before we go to print this. Um, or, you know, when you run that list made, we're gonna grab that actual other address. So you got three addresses, the one that this property belongs to, 
the one the tax assessor saying mail to, and then we may actually wind up mailing it to a third address that the post office has deemed said, no, we need to send it to the other one for you. Yep. We're trying to make sure we get it to the best deliverable address for you. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, we're doing Thank that you. behind the scenes, though, when you run the list made, so you don't have to think about any of that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You guys cleared that up. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thanks for being here tonight, man. All right. So now that we've gone to Lead Pro, we've put together our list of cash buyers. We've moved them into a marketing campaign. So you can see the top left here cash buyer cedar park one option is to order postcards send postcards marketing materials out to these particular investors you could also print letters and do a bulk skip trace and call i personally prefer ordering postcards i'm going to go in and do what's called a single mailer so we're going to send it one time you can always come back 30 days and do a follow-up mailing Next and most important, we need to actually pick out a postcard. So the one that I have chosen here is cash buyer number one. So if I enlarge that, you can kind of see it looks pretty simple. It's straight to the point. The yellow is going to grab your, your, your visual attention. And basically you look like, hey, I come across properties. If you're looking to buy, hey, contact me. Okay, you could do the front to back image there as well. So once I select a postcard, I'm going to click continue. Now here's where you get to put in your contact information. So I have line one selected here. It's gonna give a phone number and my domain. Now, obviously you can send people to wherever. Is it your website? Maybe you set up a specific landing page website that only talks about, hey, you are a wholesaler in this area. You find great deals and pass them on, join the list. You can also just send them to your normal website that maybe has a page on there that specifically talks about that you have properties and you're passing good deals. Join your list. Now, once we have our postcard selected, we could go down to the bottom and actually click continue. You definitely want to make sure that your contact information is correct. I'm going to check approve and hit continue. Now, this part is extremely valuable. So what we do is we have a service called ListMade that actually cleans up anything from a tax assessor standpoint um, through the post office. So number one, we're going to check for any duplicates. Sometimes you might add properties in and which could be a duplicate coming out of our lead pro side. We're also going to check for address errors. Very important that we actually get the marketing material to the to the actual address so the potential investor can pick it up. We're also going to do what's called a change of address. So if the tax assessor's mailing address to that particular investor has changed, we're going to be able to pick that up. So we're basically carrying the cost over to you that they charge us. And uh, so I highly recommend you cleaning your list. Now, after you get through this particular page, all you have to do is just simply go through the checkout process and get some marketing materials out there. Remember, it doesn't take that many investors uh, to start buying deals. That's the great thing, right? So there's only one buyer per deal. But if you have 30 people on your list, every time you find a property, you just give them a call. Hey, Steve, my name is Chris. Hey, I've got this property at such and such address. Why don't you drive by, take a look, see if you're interested. Hey, Mike, hey, I've got this property at such and such address. Drive by, take a look, see if you're interested. You keep doing that. You're going to end up with a buyer very quickly. Now, we want to continually, you know, maximize our buyers. You might have different types of buyers. You might have the fix and flip buyer. You might have the landlord buyer. You might have the multifamily buyer. So you definitely want to organize your list on what types of buyers you can import and manage all of your buyers right here from the main menu side. So if you go over to buyers here, you can see that. Hopefully this training video helped and thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe, click the notification bell and smash that like button. If you wanna learn more about how to find cash buyers, I have a link in the description. And remember, knowledge is power and without action, nothing will happen. Thanks for listening to REI Pro Talk. If you've ever wanted to jump into the real estate game, Get started with the number one software for real estate investors on the planet, REI Pro. Start for free at www.myreipro.com.